Welcome back guys. So previously I showed you how to connect a uh, receiver to your NAS32 flight controller, wire everything up, get telemetry, uh, how to power it in another separate video. And uh, what you may have noticed that you are not, you may be getting all of your telemetry but not voltage. So if we go into beta flight and we look up here, it's still showing zero volts, but I have a battery plugged in right now. Also, if I go to my telemetry on my transmitter, it's still showing zero volts, but everything else is working. So why is that? The reason for that is because when we power this flight controller, it requires five volts to power the flight controller and all the accessories connected to it, like receivers, on-screen displays, so on and so on. Because it's only getting 5 volts, it only sees 5 volts. It doesn't know what the full voltage of your battery is. That is why they add in VBAT pins. So before, I showed you all these input pins and connecting the receiver, the output pins, and how to power it. But now we want to look at these pins. If you look on the back side, you'll see a bunch of abbreviations. Uh, but what we're looking for right now is just ground and VBAT, which are these two pins right here on the corner. So these two pins. Also on this side, you should see where it says a plus sign, VBAT, and a minus sign, meaning that this pin closest to the corner is your ground, and this pin up here is your power. So what we want to do is just take two scrap pieces of wire, nothing special about it, and solder these on to the positive and negative of the VBAT pins. Okay, and that will look something like this. I've got my positive, which is blue, it doesn't matter what color it is, and black for my ground. Now for the other end of these wires, these go to your PDB. And these can go anywhere on the PDB where it's getting the full voltage of the battery, meaning you can put them directly on top of your battery leads or on any of these pads where your ESC main power and ground wires go. Uh, basically anywhere that's not a voltage regulator like right here or this uh, 12 volt regulator or anywhere like that. Okay, I've just soldered mine on directly to the battery leads, and it should now work. So let's plug in our LiPo battery, reconnect the USB cable, go back into Betaflight, and now we see up here it's showing 15.6 volts. Then if I look at my transmitter on my telemetry screen, I'm seeing voltage is 15.6 volts. Now I'm just going to take a multimeter and verify that the battery is actually at 15.6 volts. Okay, and it's showing 15.7473, which is accurate enough. Uh, one tenth of a volt isn't going to make a difference, but if you do want it 100% accurate, then check out my Betaflight playlist, and I have a video showing you how to calibrate your voltage. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I will leave the links to those playlists in the description below and in top right of your screen. Uh, so I will see you there.